Well, hi there. This is Gus Gus. I've often described him as being like a reptile dog. And you are like a dog, aren't you? You're a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you, Gus? I really do think that this is a very appropriate title for him, to be perfectly honest. He is very much like a dog. One thing is, he really likes social interaction. Uh, much more than most lizards. Uh, in fact, you know, his enclosure is so large that I wouldn't be able to go in and pull him out. Uh, anytime I want him to come somewhere, I need to open the enclosure up and call him. And he comes. Uh, it's also possible to walk him on a leash. If you've seen our, our video on Argentine tegus, You'll see that my daughter, even when she was two years old, could walk him on a leash. Uh, one kind of different thing about him is you pretty much have to go where he wants to go. He's not going to follow you like most dogs will, at least well-trained dogs. Isn't that right, Gusserton? Uh, I, I do want to mention, though, you know, he's probably more like a reptile, big, old, kind of lazy dog. He can go fast when he wants to, and... Uh, you know, every now and then he'll be like, run along, but most of the time he just kind of plods along and he'll hang out with you and he's he's very, very pleasant. But he is really content to just let you pet him. He'll rise up right into your hand a lot of the time when you're petting him. He doesn't like to be picked up like dogs. You know, you can, you can pick him up and you can hold him for a while and he'll put up with that. And after a while, he'll say, I've had enough and he'll start to try to get down. You're such a great little dog lizard though. Just love you, Gusserton. Yeah, you're a patient fellow, aren't you? And they're smart, so smart. Possibly the smartest lizards in the world. Not to mention the fact they can be walked on a leash. They're just amazing. I would say, actually, if you're talking about a puppy, the Asian water monitor is the puppy of the lizard world. Now, this is also a, a puppy that gets enormous. They're huge, uh, but they've kind of got that just, hi, what are you doing? I just want to, I'm going to climb on you. Can I just climb on you? I'm going to climb on you personality of a puppy. They're always getting into stuff and mischief. Gus Gus here, he's much more laid back than that. Really a pleasant guy, but a heck of a lot like a dog. He's like a big old dog in a reptile body. But there's another animal out there that's also a whole lot like a dog. They're called dogs. This is my dog, and his name is Theo. And he's a good boy. You know, you're a good boy, aren't you, Mr. T? So how does the reptile dog compare to the actual dog? And which one is the best pet? To help us figure this out, we're gonna have to put them head to head, which means we will compare the Argentine Tegu and the dog, based on our three head-to-head -head categories, which are awesomeness, because you wouldn't want to own it if it wasn't stinking awesome, expensiveness, and difficulty. When it comes to awesomeness, both of these creatures are awesome. They're both really awesome, actually. Probably, arguably, some of the most awesome creatures you could possibly own. They're both awesome in some similar and in some very different ways. Both of them can be impressive, though that's definitely not true for all dogs. Theo is probably not a super impressive dog, and there are probably a few dog breeds out there that you wouldn't even want anybody to know you have. You know what I'm talking about. Tegus, while smaller actually than most dogs, are shockingly large lizards. I've never pulled Gus Gus out and had somebody comment that he was either small or unimpressive. They're always like, whoa, look at the size of that lizard! Both of them are actually very affectionate, it, which is a really surprising thing from a Tegu. But they definitely come up to you because they want to interact with you. And dogs, of course, are well known for this. One of the big differences when it comes to affection is that a dog will positively lose its mind without affection. Where the Tegu, on the other hand, seems to appreciate it, but he also doesn't really seem to care if he doesn't get any affection for a long time. Both of them can be quite beautiful. And both of them are very, very smart. Though dogs are probably considerably smarter than Tegus, Tegus are still very, very intelligent lizards. One of the things that I find to be the most awesome about having a dog is that they can go with you anywhere. Uh, I love taking Theo on hikes. 
You know, they can potentially go on vacation with you. Dogs will also snuggle with you in your bed. Tegus are awesome on the other hand because they won't mind if you don't do any of those things with them. Though I have seen some people that do snuggle them in their beds. So, there's that. I would call this a draw, except one of them looks like a funny looking wolf and the other looks like a freaking dinosaur. And for this reason, this round goes to the Tegu. When it comes to expensiveness, both of these animals are actually pretty darn expensive to keep. Tegus need a huge enclosure with fairly expensive lighting. They also, for a lizard, eat quite a bit of food. Uh, though it isn't super expensive food and most of it comes from the grocery store, like the bananas he's been happily chowing down on this whole time. Uh, it, it does add up because they eat a lot of it. Dogs, on the other hand, need a fenced yard. Or, or at the very least, they're gonna need to take over most of your home. They also eat a lot but that food is also pretty easily available and not that expensive. If you keep a dog in your home, uh, it is going to destroy a lot of your stuff, especially while it's young. So just be prepared to pay for whatever it happens to chew up or pee on or poop on or destroy in other ways that they're very creative and they'll figure out. They also need more accessories, uh, you know, leashes and squeaky toys and whatnot. And while both of them should go to the vet occasionally for checkups and things, dogs are probably over the course of their life gonna cost you more in vet bills than will a tegu. As a result, this round goes to the tegu, which is still a pretty expensive lizard to keep, but dogs just cost a fortune. They're just so expensive. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to our patrons at Patreon. You might notice that for the first time ever, I'm trying to keep a dog on this table which of course means we're probably gonna have more than the normal number of outtakes. And we'll give you some outtakes at the end of this video, so stick around. But also, we tend to do an entire extra video that is extra outtakes and also extra information and things that uh, were just too long for the actual video. Like, if you wanna hear my story about how I was attacked by our family dog or the story of why I have a dog, given the results of this head-to-head -to, -head to this point, you might want to become a Patreon supporter because we have a whole extra video to explain just these sorts of things every week, just kind of as our way of saying thank you. When it comes to difficulty, tegus are very easy. Come here. When it comes to difficulty, uh, tegus are very easy for big lizards, but big lizards are difficult. They eat a lot and they need really large enclosures. They also can be somewhat dangerous. They've got a lot of jaw pressure and their teeth can be extremely sharp, so bites can result in you needing stitches and definitely losing a lot of blood. However, dogs, when it comes to difficulty, are a complete nightmare, at least compared to most reptiles. And they need a ton of attention. And if they don't feel like they're getting enough attention, they can let the entire neighborhood know about it. You are feeding them and cleaning up their poop all the time. Sometimes in your house. That and they also kill about 33 people a year just in the United States. They also bite about 4.7 million people a year in the United States and send about 800,000 people to the hospital. That's insane. And that's just in the United States. It should be mentioned that pit bulls account for about two thirds of those fatalities, while accounting for only about 6.4% of the population of dogs. While most pit bulls are absolute sweethearts, because they are, I've known many of them that are just spectacular, the reality is simply that not all breeds are created equal when it comes to how dangerous they are. I was actually very nearly killed as a small child by our pet Alaskan Malmute. Here's a picture of me actually after I got out of the hospital. Uh, unfortunately, I had access to one of the best reconstructive surgeons in the area who put me back together, but dogs are, they're wolves that people bring into their homes. They have been selectively bred for a long time to be nicer than are most wolves, but don't ever forget what they can do. And this round, <laughs> for these reasons, goes by the widest of margins 
to the tegu. Heck, even a green iguana would win this one. In conclusion, tegus are just better pets than dogs. Dogs shouldn't get too down on themselves, because Gus Gus, he's like the greatest creature in the world. Uh, honestly, the Argentine tegu I think of as being kind of the ultimate pet lizard, and lizards are awesome, so it's nothing personal. They were just, they never had a chance. Oh, you're so good, Mr. Gus. I have many, many reptiles, and all of them combined are less work than my one dog. They also don't wake me up or my neighbors in the middle of the night. They don't care if I don't see them for a couple of days. And tegus don't kill people. Truth is, he's a delightful creature. Uh, I really like him. He's got just a great personality. He's really fun to take on hikes. He's very enjoyable. But man, is he a lot of work. I would say if you've got a person who's saying, should I get a tegu or a dog? No question. <laughs> Tegu's the way to go. Unless, of course, you want somebody who just is obsessed with you. And that's what I've got. I'm not taking him back. He's a keeper. And as bad of a rap as tegus get for being an invasive species, they are nowhere near as destructive as feral dogs. Don't release either of these animals into the wild. If you're happy to have a pet that you can scoop up and hold that will plod over to you when called and get some scratches and then go back to his heat lamp afterward, then a tegu might be the perfect pet for you. But if you're really, really extroverted, which I am not, and what you want isn't really a pet, but like a full-time best friend that wants your attention all the time, then a dog is totally for you. There's just nothing better. Just remember that that big goofy love is actually a friendly wolf. He may be the descendant of many generations of friendly wolves, but most of them still have the weapons, so be careful and know what you're getting yourself into. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Please send complaints to the comment section down below at Clint's Reptiles. Hey, come here, bud. You want to? Give it some thought. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, no. It wasn't like we this, but, but but she really did like even from right from I, the beginning. It I, was over here. It was I, just like, I, like okay, well. I, oh yes, oh yes. Get the pen. Get the pen. Get him. I don't know what I'm doing with the dog. <laughs> Jason loves him some dog, so I'm letting him get some <laughs> dog time. I feel. I feel. Oh yes. Oh, remember how you were all calm a second ago? Yeah. What happened to that? So you got facial oh, reconstructive boy. surgery. Yes. And that was the best they could do. I know. Man. Here's the deal. <laughs> like, they tried to put me back to how I would have looked without it. Oh, yeah. I, I requested it at two years old Tom Cruise. <laughs> Botched it. Botched it, yes. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. Even Michael Jackson's guy was like, come on. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You coming up? Coming up to explore? They're great! Where are you going now? Hmm? You made up your mind? Hey, Gusterton. That's you. That's you. Because you're the star of this whole channel. Sit. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Good boy.